hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm bringing a new thing or <laughs> hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl baby and and i'm bringing something new to my channel something different so it's going to be like an episode or should we call it a podcast i think so i'm going to be basically doing talks with people so the, my the first person i have for this talk which is called my little circle is my mom so introduce yourself now what's your name my name is mrs agnes energy mm -hmm. What do you do? I work in Veritas University as a dev recovery officer. Okay. So you're going to be collecting people's fees? Mm, yeah, just recover the debts for the university. Okay. So, basically I do. so yeah, she's, my, she's the first person I'm going to be having on my talk. I'm basically just going to be talking about um, Africa society, mother and daughter love, what she thinks about things in general, just general stuff. So yeah, I think the first thing, I didn't put up a question for like, I didn't put up a post to say ask my mom questions. I just like got questions from other videos I've watched and I've liked. So I got those questions to ask my mom. So the first question I think I would ask you is what do you think of um people my age who say they don't want to go back to, who say they don't want to go to school or who say they want to do something different what do you think of that yeah what whatever it is you have to do in life as a lady or as a woman or as a girl education is the key you have to be educated at least to be able to make progress whatever it is you want to do if you want to become a caterer, whatever you want to do, you who is educated will do it better than those who are not educated. So I, any person of your age who decides to say she's not going to school, I will tell her that she's just going to end up not being, not being happy with herself later in life when she can't take care of herself and her children. But what of people who are like not good in academics, like they're not, they feel like They've tried their best, they've put in their best, they're not doing well, and they're saying they want to drop out. No, you don't call it drop out. You call it that you want to add another skill to learning. Mm -hmm. You can learn slowly. Some are fast learners and some are slow learners. So if you are a slow learner, you take it as you have it, one day at a time. You could add some skills to it. But you can't say you're completely off education. It's not, it won't make any sense to any human being in the present situation where it's. Uh, okay, so you feel it's not help them in the future yeah. and the rest. So, do you think there's some parents who like, um, who hate their children or they just dislike them? I don't know. Do you think there's like any situation like that? And if there is, like, what? Could lead to that situation where a mother will he hit her child or yeah you find some situations like that but it isn't right sometimes you find a mother hitting her child her child or her her daughter or any of the above but when you find yourself in that situation you see that the reasons that could come up is because maybe she's separated from the dad and uh, she throws the anger of that separation upon that child at every time she sees that child she throws back the anger of losing her husband or the husband leaving her upon that child another reason why you could see people in that situation is if um if Maybe they, they wanted a different sex of a child mm -hmm. and they had a female child. And they just feel you were the reason why this joy didn't come. So at everything the, the, at everything the child does, the mother backs back at her or backs her back at him, depending on the case. 
So those are the situations you find. Oh, maybe she didn't grow up a happy person. Maybe she didn't grow up in a home where there was love and laughter. You can't expect her to give what she doesn't have. So she love must start from the home to be able to get the children. Okay. You're taking the video. You're not smiling. You're taking the video very... No. Very but what if... if okay, if um, children are in that situation, so what do you want the children to do? Because they just keep on hating themselves or feeling no. sad. No, no, they need to see a counselor. If your child is faced in that situation, person needs to talk to someone. Person needs to that you don't you don't run mad there of not being loved. But you know it's not everybody that have the chance to talk to someone. They don't you even know who to you, talk to. You, you, yeah, who to talk to you have to find. You have to find who to confide in. You have to find who to talk to. Who 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 is of the ages of your mom? Who you know your mom could talk down talk with your mom to understand. You need to talk to someone. Whatever the situation is, you need to talk to someone. Okay. Okay, so that's it. But that question. So another question is what is one thing I did as a child that was naughty or that like I was so was I still one child? Not really. Yeah? Okay. It's just that you were more of a tomboy because you had all boys before you. But you're not stubborn. You're just, you're just behaving your age. So I don't call it stubbornness. <laughs> How was I behaving like a tomboy? Acting? Yeah, well, if they could do if they could do things, you could do twice what they did. <laughs> mm. I think the only one I remember is uh, we play football in the compound. I will always join them to play football in the compound. Okay. The next question. Uh, do you have any question for me? Do you think you have any question for me? Do I have? Yeah. Why did you decide to read law? <laughs> I found it interesting. So, um, first, I'm not to read criminology, but after so high spoke to me. I was like, okay, let me consider studying law, which is interesting, to be honest. I thought law was not really something I would have gone for, but going into it now, it's going well. It's seeming interesting, reading cases and the rest. You made the right choice, huh? Yeah, I did. I don't, every course has its own problems, so <laughs> it's not... So, how do you think people could grow more than the talent? Because people say we're quite close, even though we quarrel a lot, we're quite close. So, how do you think people could grow more than the talent? They will talk about everything. Mm. Everything. Even when sounds wrong, you should be able to talk about everything. You should make, as a mother, you should be free to hear it. Pray about it, think about it, and talk about it. By not scaring the child away, you become best of friends. By being able to discuss everything, everything, you become very wonderful friends. And by the daughter, by you, by the daughter not lying to the parents. Because the minute you lie, the love ends there. Because they'll find out. No matter how long it <laughs> takes, they'll find out. So there's no need to lie. Just face life as it is. But it's not, it's not all mothers that are very, let's say, kind. They want to be just in. Some mothers see it as disrespect. Maybe how they grew up too. Maybe they grew up in an environment that um, didn't have that kind of facility to love. So you can't expect them to give what they don't have. Mm, true. Yeah. And if they feel that they needed help, then they should ask for help as parents that I'm fine. I'm always complaining about my child. I really need someone to hear me and know whether I'm okay. So it will go a long way in helping those those children, those young people who are faced with that kind of situation. Yeah. I don't know why this fly keeps on going around, going around. This you get that even in the night, they are still going around. Okay, so this is a scenario I'm going to tell you. So, 
what if someone you call because my mom has so many people she calls her daughter she has so many people that are around her so you find out that your daughter and she loves all of them so you find out that one of them is getting married and the person she's getting married to she has never told you that is abusive what would you do i find out will i find out yeah you you find out like you find out that and this is like close to the marriage I'll talk her into giving it some time. I'm not talking to her into not marrying him because I'm not actually going to live with him. But then I'll talk to her to why not give it some time. Don't rush into it. Even date has been said. Yes. It is, it, is, it, is better, it is better to take a step away than to take a step to take a step while you are in. Yeah. It's better to take a step away and his true nature will show if you take a step away. You're not telling him I can't be in a relationship. You're just telling him you needed some space. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that is just what it is. Mm -hmm. But that is critical because then the tension is there. It, it's better to face the short tension then. So when the people are asking thing. you, oh, why are you stopping the marriage? Or why, you, what will you tell them? Tell them you just needed more time. They don't need to lie. You just need there's more time that's all if you can't wait then let him be but if he can wait you use the time to be able to mold him so that you don't get beaten so you're, you're going time. to talk to him or you're going to just take up some time and think about the whole situation no you're going to talk to him it has to be talked about okay so what if after that she decides she's not getting married again they pull up everything Someone else will come. True, the, there are plenty of fishes in the river. Yes, someone else will come. Okay, uh, and the question is, what do you think of girls that sleep um, for money, like people who sleep with people for money, men for money? Yeah, uh, we should, as Christians, know that our bodies are the temple of the living God, and at no condition must you give out your body for money. Well, you know you can't judge people, you know. You still can't judge, but the Bible also made it clear that our bodies were temples of the living God. Mm -hmm. That is, I'm not judging you, or you're not. Someone is not judging you, but you know yourself. You know that you're doing the right thing, or you're doing the wrong thing. You know that you're saying the right thing, or you're saying the wrong thing. Because some people might be really going through some stuff, and they're like, "Okay, I need this money." As much as you need the money, it's not enough to sell your body. Mm. If you really need the money and you talk to God about it, God will make provision for that money without using your body to get it. Okay. I think it should be prayerful. Very prayerful. Okay, let's move into relationship wise. So, what do you think are red flags? Do you know what red flags are? No. <laughs> red flags are like bad signals. <coughs> Excuse me bad signals a girl should look at in the guy before she like when you're just meeting the guy what do you think that once you even see this one is like no yeah some red flags you should look at is if you meet a guy and he's in a hurry he's in a hurry to know everything about you in a second mm, why why does he want to know everything about you in a second why won't he go to know you that's a red flag he wants to know, how can someone want to know something about you of, you've lived your life of 20 years mm. and he wants to know it in one minute. It's not possible. Mm. That's one. Two, any guy who is coming to you and the very first thing he's thinking of is having sex with you. Mm. Shouldn't, should be a red sign for you to know that he just wants to get you down and move to the next girl. He wants to get you down, move to the next girl and it is your duty to be able to put a stop that kind of life that he lives so that is just what it is so you must be able to differentiate with him if he wants a relationship with you get to know him as much as he wants to know you it comes gradually and if the if it both comes gradually you find that in a short while you know everything about him mm. but if a guy is just coming to you he's, he's in a hurry to talk to to know about you He's in a hurry to touch you. He's in a hurry to kiss you. He's in a hurry to do everything. 
And the same way he'll be in a hurry to leave you. <laughs> so the best thing is you no know, check the person mm. and see whether this person falls in line with the doctrines I was brought up in. So is that and do they have any other red flag? Oh not really. Mm. So do you know if your sons are showing that attribute <laughs> just attribute to some other girls? Yeah, the same way I talk to my daughter, the same way I talk to my sons. So what advice do you give your sons? I give my advice is don't treat don't treat any lady less than you treat your mom and sister. Mm. Your mom and sister are precious to you. So every lady who comes your way, treat her with that precious Let's you treat your sister and mom. I used to tell them, don't do that. You should not go and play any girl that will come and cost me tomorrow and say, that your sister. <laughs> that your sister. So, okay. so, so it is, it is, um, it's a mindset thing mm. that this is what it is. And I expect every other mother too to talk to her own daughters and her sons so that when they meet, when they meet, this is where you draw the line. You must draw the line as a lady and say, no, I don't want this or I want this. So what age do you see me getting married? What age, do you, what age in your head are you like? I don't have any age in my head because it's, it's you that plans your life. Mm. It's you that's only there to guide you, pray with you. I'm surprised. I wish you success. Because you know my mom, is, I think she already has a... a I have, but I have, I am praying to God that uh, as you finish, as I finish, uh, as you finish uni, you finish law school, just before you finish uh, law school, you need to get someone and settle down. If I finish law school, that yeah, while you're finishing law school, that's like we're doing both. Of, uh, next yeah, year. so we're doing both and then sit on our way. So when I look at 33. I don't know why I like this place. Excuse me, you said? Just 23. 2023. No, 23. Yeah, when I'm 23. Yeah, no, when you are, no, not 23. I, I meant you. Oh. You know, you can't be 23 to finish. Okay. I need to. Oh, God, this fly. Uh, no, you can't be I'm just saying that you watch towards your end of this courses are very critical. Mm. But don't you think. People are meant to like be okay before they add someone to their life. Okay, in the sense of what material or no, material. financial. Sometimes you just need to be mentally, physically, emotionally ready for that in life. Because you cannot add somebody when you yourself you are not okay. But it's not your strength that you use in taking care of yourself. Is it, eh? Is it it's not your strength. It's the Bible that you you hold. It's not your strength that you need taking care of any relationship that you're inside. So it is what? It is the will of God. If God decides that that relationship will stay, it will stay. Okay. If you say so. So any, any relationship where you take it to God and you pray. You pray? And God will lead you to a decision. So all the we so what's the advice for girls looking to get married? Girls wanting to get married. Uh, they found the partner. No, they are still praying for the partner. Yeah, the first thing, first thing first, if you meet a guy, mm. he must fear God. Mm. He must fear the wrath of God. He must fear the punishment of God. <laughs> That's the first. Number two, he must have a level of knowledge. That means it's either he went to school and graduated, or he has learned some skills. He must learn, he must uh, have a, a form of knowledge. Number three, he must love you unconditionally. Um. He must love you with all that is in him. He has to love you. Unconditionally. So and he must love you more than eh? he must love you more than you love him. Must that happen? Maybe? No, it must not happen. Oh, okay, I thought it must happen. 
It wasn't helpful. Okay. So what else? I don't think I have. I think those are all my questions. What do you think of our generation? Yeah, your generation are just as in a hurry. So? Hurry to do what? Hurry to finish, hurry to go around the world. Like so, travel? Yes. There's are we so in a hurry? No, we're just going as life. So are you directly mm -hmm. talking to me? No, 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 not at all. You're not going I'm just talking. You ask the question. Now. Oh, yeah. Then um, this uh, generation, mm -hmm. the phone is actually a problem to them because those yes. days we we didn't have the phone, so it was less light. But now with the phone, you can actually be with someone else <laughs> and say he's somewhere else. So the phone also is a problem. So you need to be able to curtail how you use it in trying to get a relationship. I'm trying to get into a relationship with yeah, you. If, yeah, you have to know. Do you think messages and calling, which one is better? Depends on the guy. Uh, how is it depending on the yeah, guy? Yeah, which one does he like? Which, which one, which or one do, which I one do like? you like? Yeah, or which one do you but like? But they say most times it's um, com um, calling that is the best because texting it seems very tricky. Yeah, okay. That's okay. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. You know when you are talking, you can hear the person's voice. Yes, and yes, very true. True. Very true. What else about our generation? It's all about you. How was it? How was it then? Do you guys propose um, propose to people before then? During that time, uh -huh. they don't propose. He just sees you the first day and tells you he wants to marry <laughs> So that did not propose to you? No, really. He just told me, okay, I could call you proposal. But not what people have these days that someone will have to take you somewhere, kneel down and propose. No. So that is not you then? No. Ah, he yes. Just, <laughs> he just said it that um, I met the first day I said, see, I'm marrying you. So the first day where he just met you and said he's marrying yeah, you. Yeah, the first day he had the, he had the guts to be able to talk to me. Mm, hot babe in town. <laughs> so he told you you marry, and you said, I'll marry you. No, too. I told you to give me some time to think about it. Okay. So how um, how long did you give you to think? Um a week. How? Took <laughs> two five no five days. After five days he came over and we talked about it well and we decided what we wanted. But were you not young? I was young, but I knew what I was doing. That's the problem with your generation. So at now, at at oh at, at no matter how old they are, they don't know what they are doing. <laughs> so at young. nineteen, yeah. in your mind you were ready to get married. Yeah, I wanted to get married. As I told you, that it is what you want. Mm, at yeah. How did your parents see that? Was it normal then? Did people see that? Normal. normal. I grew up in the northern community where. Oh. It was normal even at 17, you know, it was normal. But were your friends, how were your friends' reaction when you were getting yeah, married? Yeah, the, the northerners were very okay with it, it was normal. Yeah. But the southerners kept wondering whether I was okay. Uh, yeah. Who was your closest friend then? Can you remember her? Maybe it's Rose, she's in Lagos now. Uh, so how was her reaction? Was she happy? Mm, not really, but then she couldn't... Not, not really. She didn't have she a say though. Yes, yeah, she didn't have a say. She so just, they're all there you for your wedding? That's what you want. Okay, we we'll escort you to what you want. Okay. So what if as I am now, I bring the man I'm ready to marry? Yeah, we'll look at him, check him. Pray about it. Okay, so what if I accept him, but you say it's the family that is to marry them? Yeah, you can't accept him, and when it's not working, you also bring him and not accept him. We'll check it and see, and be sure he's saying the truth. Everything he looked about himself, it's so then we we'll do the need for. So you feel if, if people can check it? Yes, we can. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we'll about it. Have they brought any cause in my house they bring um the do they bring the husbands to you to you the house? Because yeah. I know it's mostly the wives. I know they bring the wives to come and say hello. 
They will not talk their talk. So I mean, yeah, you have, you have some wives you have brought and you have said, no, this is not good for... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I won't live with the wives. It's the man that lives with his wife. Thank if he you. feels he wants to marry them, it's, it's his life. The best we can do is just give an advice. We can't give your life for you. That's true. Yeah. And that's better because you can't be telling people. All the to... people that I used to okay, there are some parents that be like, Oh, you're betrothed to this person. What do you think of Maybe that? they had that from an early age and they betrothed the person. How but do you betray somebody? It depends. It depends. Maybe situations led them to eat. It depends what transpired for them to get to that level. Yeah, but I feel that's not right. It's not right to an extent. There was some right. Some is that when you get the reason why, you wouldn't blame them. Maybe at that time, some believe. I remember one I used to know then. They said she was very ill. Mm. She kept falling sick, and the, the guy who who chanted the things to make her well told her they needed to get her married. There's no married to go to the guy's yeah, house. Yeah. They need to betroth her. And when they did, she got where she was never sick again. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So I think we're, we're, we've come to the end of this. Do you have any advice for the young ladies in the house? Young ladies pushing their dreams like me and in my age range. Yeah, my advice is that stay focused. Pray hard, pray earnestly, work hard. Okay. These are my these are the things I want to wish you. That all this that you have put in front of you, if you don't work hard, if you don't get focused, if you don't pray hard, if you don't if you don't play put yourself in the mind frame of your studies, you will lose it out. So the main aim is what? To the aim, aim is to stay focused. Okay. So young ladies and young gentlemen, stay focused on your what? In life, generally. Yes, in life. In life, everything. In life. Okay, so thank you for coming to my first... Are you not excited that... Uh, I am. I feel so elated. That's good. That's good. So you're the first person on my... Should I call it a podcast? Yes, yeah, probably a podcast or a talk show called My Little Second. So thank you for coming here. Yeah. Thank you for spending time with me. Even though she's actually going back to Nigeria tomorrow. She just came to see me in the UK. So bye. Bye.